Not many bus drivers can boast about experiencing an adventure on every trip. According to Luis, arriving safe and sound in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil is something of a miracle. Olha esse problema aqui que deu. Quebrou a... o reparo do, do cabeça de compressor. Viemos sem freio. Sem freio, sem brecha, sem nada. Só na coragem mesmo. It's a bravery that he shares with his son Leandro, as well as the slight madness which leads them to drive their village truck to brave the tracks of the Amazon rainforest. E o para-choque também que nós tiramos, né? Quando chegar no ponto mais crítico, a gente arranca o para-choque para não, não, não quebrar. Né? Daqui, ó. A altura do ônibus quase. Você entra, fica aqui, ó. Que buraco. Leandro e his father could give up, but they both persevere. They're on a mission since the other companies gave up due to the difficulties of the journey. They're the last remaining company to venture into the Amazon rainforest at this time of year. Mas no inverno deixa o povo tudo na mão. Tá aí, todo mundo na mão. Nós nunca desistimos, nunca. Só batalha mesmo direto. The Brazilians often say that God is great, but that the Amazon rainforest is even greater. The majority of the roads that go through it have been secretly mapped out by illegal timber smugglers and other gold miners. Yet over time, these roads have become a central part of life, essential for those who can't afford to fly. E aqui se não tiver união, você lascou. Tem que ser unido, companheiro. Se você precisar fazer força, faz força junto. He would be lucky to meet anyone in his tracks. The road Luis has taken is completely cut off from the rest of the world. Without his group of friends, the bus would be here rotting away until summer. During the monsoon seasons, the makeshift tracks collapse under torrential rain. In the Amazon, the word fear seems to have disappeared from their vocabulary. Fear is nowhere to be seen. The rich vegetation of the forest is the Amazon's weakness. The Native American's warning call is rarely heard. The bus station in Humaita is not exactly filled to the brim with travellers. Luis has only sold 15 tickets, compared with 60 during the dry season. It cannot be denied that with every journey, the route leaves a bitter taste in the passengers' mouths. Vou visitar meus pais. Faz um ano e três meses que eu não vou lá. E muito assustado, hein? Mas já fiz essa. Já sempre faço. Vem e volto. Acostumada já. Caminhão caído. Tinha um monte de. Não dá em nada. Vamos igual. Viajou na boa. Sem problema. É, vai ser.
Unlike his childhood friends, Leandro, the son of Luis, didn't used to play with toy trucks. He had much better. Com 12 anos, eu já comecei a dirigir caminhão. Porque meu pai era caminhoneiro, tive a noção, porque eu ouvia ele dirigindo muito. E eu já tive, desde criança, tive a noção de dirigir. Então, foi fácil de aprender. É uma paixão para mim, eu gosto do que faço. Apesar de eu ser o, o, eu, o proprietário da empresa, eu mesmo dirijo. Leandro refuses to entrust another driver with his bus. The 700 kilometers of tracks awaiting them in order to conquer Manaus are very tough. He takes 18 hours in the dry season, whereas he takes twice as long during the heavy rain season. No more tarmac roads. Attacked from all sides by the forest and Amazonian climate, the maintenance of this highway is a major financial strain on the Brazilian government. Constructed in the 1970s, the road has since been abandoned. A four-wheel drive bus. It seems hard to imagine. The vehicle soon discovers its limits. Então você escorregar para a beirada, entendeu? Porque você sempre anda no meio. Quando está chovendo, procura andar no meio. Então o risco é você escorregar para a beirada, por causa dos barrancos. Esse é o maior risco aqui. Six brawny arms against ten tons of steel. The match is already lost. Their goodwill remains, but like the bus, it does not last long. Força muito na toleira, esquenta muito. Aí não dá o tempo de refrigerar. Força muito na toleira, ali o motor esquenta a temperatura. The 300 horsepower engine is on its last legs. Leandro must quickly save it. Cabo, cabo, cadê? Over the course of the journey, as a result of getting stuck in the mud, the father and son have had to set up a winch at the front. They're pouring with sweat. It isn't certain whether this bridge can support a 10-ton bus. In fact, the tricky part is yet to come. Ele 
Isso, pra não cansar. Pra não cansar, aí a gente reveza pra não cansar. Porque a viagem é longa, aí pra não fazer muito esforço. Olha, em média, quatro pessoas. Quatro pessoas, por causa do, do trecho longo da viagem, né? And there aren't many of them. Leandro and Luis have not even done 10 kilometers and they're already delayed by half a day. The father and son take it in shifts at the wheel all night to make up for lost time. Well, that's what they hope. The Amazon rainforest is the largest forest cover in the world. That is to say, it makes up 12% of the world's forests. This great expanse could not remain untouched for the Brazilian government. Since the 1960s, they've been relocating the poorest people there. A land without people for people without land. The slogan has attracted millions of families since the 1960s. The majority become farmers, livestock breeders, or even lumberjacks. Thousands of makeshift villages replaced rare tree varieties. This is the case for this small, forgotten piece of land, Juina. Bastante esquisito. Quase que meio abandonada, né? Parece o faroeste aqui. <risos> falta pouco. Só falta os cavalos e os pistoleiros. <risos> Ainda tem, só não usa cavalo, usa moto. Manuel is a castaway, or rather a prisoner of the forest, stuck in the middle of the village in Joína. Impossible for him to escape. Indeed, the village is cut off from the outside world. Ainda tem a gasolina? Tem. É. Vamos colocar aí só uns 6 litros. Tem três, mas que tem gasolina era só um. É dificuldade na estrada, não consegue chegar o caminhão para para abastecer os postos. É. E acontece de ficar sem gasolina vários dias. For going around the village, 6 liters is enough. His biggest concern is focused elsewhere. Boa tarde, meu patrão. Tarde. Tudo bem? Bom. Bom, graças a Deus. E o senhor, como vai? Bom. Tudo bem? Beleza. Bom. E aí, tá aumentando ou tá baixando? Pai, tá subindo a água, hein? Tá subindo? Tá, bastante. The road has been submerged. Torrential rain has caused the river to burst its banks. Manuel, the taxi driver and the passengers have been held up for eight days in Joína. Bom. Bom. Eu marquei aqui ontem aonde estava a água. Ela subiu de ontem para hoje cerca de 15 centímetros. É muito longe. Da, da, para a cidade que eu vou, dá 1.300 quilômetros se der a volta por lá. Então, para nós é viável esperar a água baixar, porque nós estamos daqui a 150 quilômetros. Não conseguimos atravessar para o outro lado de carro. Six years ago, Manuel and his taxi were stuck for nearly 30 days. So it wasn't a question of just reliving the nightmare. The cost of the hotel and restaurant had bankrupt him. This time, with the help of another castaway on the road, he called a farmer before spending his very last penny. Já estamos com oito dias na estrada, saímos, hoje faz oito dias que saímos e a despesa acarretando. Aí agora é mais uma despesa para passar, para passar aqui o cara cobra 150 reais. Então, dois carros dá 300. Fica amargo, né? Aí... Melhor a gente pagar um pouquinho mais caro e passar embora do que a gente ficar esperando e aí chove. E aí choveu, pior o carro para nós. In any case, there's nothing reassuring about the vehicle, especially the wooden trailer. It really worries the two men. Hey. 
Ela, essa parte tem que ser fixa aqui. Aqui, ó. Aqui tinha um parafuso. Aí quebrou o parafuso. Aqui, aí ela correu pra frente. Espera aqui. Vai puxar pra frente, nós vamos tentar amarrar ele com arame, cabo de aço e vamos tentar improvisar aí pra passar. The question is whether the weight of the car will break the old farm wagon. There are 1,500 meters between the two sides and a bridge to cross blindly. The bridge is here. On the left, one of the railings can barely be seen. Twelve cars will carry out this journey without any issues, a small feat. Nós vamos esperar aquela outra caminhoneta, porque ele tem motosserra, tem machado, tem a preparo, que a gente vai precisar na estrada. Aí para nós sair em comboio, todos juntos. And it's better this way because the adventure is far from being over for Manuel, the taxi driver, and the other passengers. Apparently, Luis and Leandro's bus has not yet reached Manaus. They're situated here even though they drove all night, barely more than half of the way. The sun appeared for a few hours and the soil has dried out slightly. On the other hand, the ruts still remain and they are very deep. The rivers that run the length of the main road, or rather the trail, is ready to overflow. Complicado. Complicado que 
dificulta tudo, né? Dificulta para você bater o guincho, para você desviar buraco. Então ela fica muito mais complicada a viagem com chuva, né? Vai dar tudo certo. Mas aí você tem que ter, é, tem que ter psicológico bom. Pra não desanimar. Keeping up the morale is their only weapon against the elements. Apart from that, what could they do? The rain beats away at the road just as much as the wheels. It's becoming impossible to keep moving. Agora na na verdade nós nós é, fizemos contato com o cara do trator, né, a parte mais feia lá. Aí nós estamos confiando que vai estar lá esperando nós, né, que é a parte mais feia, onde não não dá para andar, né? Tá vendo que choveu? Aí nós vamos passar a noite toda embaixo de uma rede no Mombará. The farmer had, however, assured them that he would be there before nightfall. If the bus falls to the bottom, nothing and no one can get it out. It will remain there until the dry season, in three months' time. At around two o'clock in the morning, the bus is finally secured. The crew then take the decision to continue without waiting for the tractor. The adrenaline from this victory seems to have made them lose their minds. Damage to this bridge that was only just recently repaired. The construction was intended for cars and trucks, but certainly not for a bus. At around five o'clock in the morning, one last attempt is made, but the men throw in the towel. They're going to spend the rest of the night here, hoping to see the tractor arrive at daybreak.
All the drivers who travel along this highway wonder what they could possibly have done to deserve such a punishment. They give the road many names, the Green Hell, Purgatory, or even the Road of Sorrow. At around 100 kilometers ahead of the bus, Marco obstructs the traffic with his truck, which is loaded with wood. He's waited four days for the workers who are repairing the road a little further up to come and rescue him. Eu vim corrido de lá, como já estava muito molhado, estava liso, ele já veio patinando de lá. E quando chegou aqui parou e não foi mais, né? Ele patina e não, não adianta ficar queimando, fica queimando óleo diesel, arrisca quebrar o caminhão, daí complica pior. Então, esperar até chegar a maga, chegar o socorro, para a gente ir embora. É a merda. É desse formato. Ten or so truck drivers wait patiently in single file for a miracle to occur. At around 10 a.m., a construction worker finally arrives. Will he be the bearer of bad news or their saving grace? Se um de nós ficar doente aqui também, é morre aqui. Não, não vai pôr a cara. Não vem ambulância buscar nós. Deixa de um lado, mas não. Se chover, fica o tempo, tá bom. Se chover, melhor. The men are done in. With nothing left to lose, they're going to attempt a tricky manoeuvre. It requires perfect coordination, without which the trucks will surely get stuck in the mud. Pega os três juntos. Os três caminhões pegam junto, força junto. Força junto, né? Faz força junto. A gente espera que sim. Porque o meu não está atolado, meu caminhão só não consegue agarrar, firmar. Pra... Tá vendo como a, a, a união faz a força? A união faz a força. Chique no último. Well, now the drivers still need help who have been waiting four days behind Marco. E aqui, se não tiver união. Você lascou, tem que ser unido, companheiro. Se precisar fazer força, faz força junto. The drivers' cries of joy resound throughout the forest. The noise of engines drowns out the singing birds once more. Like that of the excavators, but with another consequence, the destruction of their habitat. Many of the roads in the Amazon are illegal, covertly dug away at by lumberjacks searching for precious wood. Gold miners also devastate the forest by leaving behind soil poisoned by cyanide, which is used to separate gold from the ground. Every day, the original inhabitants of the Amazon mourn for their forest, which is disappearing. Contamination, pollution, one day we could end up with fish, 
tanto na terra também. Isso que acontece, a vida, quando não souber cuidar da natureza, ele um dia pode acabar. According to Pablo, the leader of the village, the white man is a curse on them. All he does is destroy things, and he clouds the Native Americans' thoughts. For me, tanto for our lives, everything for the human beings, it's not good to live in the city. It's better to live in the forest. Porque uh, então, temos a mais tranquilidade, acompanhamento com a natureza, a gente vai caçar, a gente vai pescar, a livre. O uh, costume do branco ele está pegando tudo no nosso filho, ele está interessado para um campo esportivo, um, tem alguns objetos que está também a comunicação, o meio de comunicação é diferente para ele, o nosso filho está interessado. Por isso motivo nosso filho, o nosso indício, em algum momento, temos risco de perder nossa cultura. Temos que matar muita força. The fight is unfair and seems to have already been lost. According to the NGO WWF, over half of the Amazon rainforest will have disappeared in 20 years. Headed for Aripuana, Manuel, the taxi driver, and the other passengers who managed to cross the flooded river have now been driving for more than three hours. Everyone thinks their problems are behind them, but they thought wrong. Their problems await them, and there are plenty. The extremely humid air erodes the wood. There are rarely bridges in the Amazon that last more than three years. This part of the road is nicknamed the Bridge Road. No less than 30 bridges mark the route, and they're more or less all in this condition. Eduardo has already borne the consequences of this. O ano passado, no ano passado, eu caí com meu carro numa ponte e praticamente perdi o carro. Mais ou menos nessa mesma época. Do meu carro, ele... a ponte é muito larga. A ponte é muito mal feita, muito larga. O carro muito estreito. Aí ele caiu o lado, o meu lado aqui caiu dentro da ponte. Eu saí por aqui. Eu saí aqui pela janela. E os outros passageiros saíram por aí. It's really a big drop five or six meters at the most, but it's enough to hurt yourself and damage a car. All it takes is to lose concentration for a split second. Eu 
calculei errado, aí o pneu caiu da ponte, né? Aí empurrou, saiu, graças a Deus. As long as their car is running, nothing can stand against the incredible optimism of these Brazilians. Well, almost nothing. Essa noite aconteceu muita chuva, né? E o bueiro não suportou e levou a estrada, a água da estrada. O buraco aqui dá uns três metros de fundura, mais de três metros. Nós vamos ver se nós conseguimos arrumar um jeito de passar aqui. In the Amazon, the drivers tend to say that it's the human spirit that makes the problem. So, in their eyes, there aren't any problems, only solutions. And this time, the solution comes from this farmer. All the cars get through without any problems. Now, just the most delicate task remains, this seven-ton truck loaded with chemicals. O meu medo não é, Toro, o meu medo é aqui, ó. É, bem, né? Tá estreita essa... Vocês não conseguem uma mais comprida, não? Tem um caminhão aí, o caminhão é problema, é pesado, né? Carro mais baixo, esse carro é aí, né? Agora o caminhão lá que tá lá atrás, não sei não, hein? Tem que dar uma reforçada aí pra passar, né? Mas não passa não, né? Cair dentro é um perigo aí. Se você até morreu o motorista, tem alguma coisa grave aí, né? Acidente, né? Mas Deus é por nós, né? Quem será contra nós, né? Volta e meia a gente enfrenta esse tipo de problema. Eduardo, Manuel, the taxi driver, and the rest of the group will arrive without too many issues in Aripuana after 10 hours on the road for only 150 kilometers. Fate seems to favour Luis and Leandro, the bus drivers, well, most of the time. After spending the night in the middle of the forest, the long-awaited tractor has arrived. But the path is such a swamp that the tractor must tow them for approximately 16 kilometres.
Anyhow, they've been on the road for three days now. Two hours later, the bus gets back to firm land. The rescue cost them some of their profit, but that's not the most important thing. At first, they were counting on 18 hours. Manaus is still another 200 kilometers away, and a major obstacle has appeared before them. Unfortunately, the tractor cannot go with them. The hole measures twice the length of an Olympic swimming pool, 100 meters. Anyone else would admit defeat, yet Luis and Leandro attempt to cross it. The water levels are going down, except there's one small problem. The rain fills the pool as fast as it is emptied. Remarkable passengers. Four days of hardship has not taken the smile off their faces. As for the drivers, their faith still seems to be intact, to a certain extent. Hey, 
Vai lá. de novo, vai de novo. Vai soltando o cabo, né? The front wheels have just bumped into the rocks. The father and son quarrel over how to proceed. Hey, come in, come in. The father is stubborn, perhaps a little too stubborn. Young people aren't always wrong. The front wheels are blocked by pieces of tarmac and cement. These serve as remains of the past that remind them that this was a highway just 30 years ago. Each centimetre is a victory, each metre a triumph. In any case, getting the bus from the pool is a massive achievement. Exhausted, the father and son would rather spend one more night in the forest. On the morning of the fifth day, the passengers' smiles are just as radiant. The road finishes here. Now all that's left to do is cross six kilometres of the Amazon, where a lovely paved road awaits them on the other side. But that was without expecting an almost inconceivable setback. Running out of petrol. Luis must buy 25 litres of fuel at a roadside service station. Three <laughs> three a toleiro, patinou muito. E duas noites com a senhora E duas noites direto com o para nós dormir. Tem que acabar mesmo, não aguenta. Vamos 
It's hard to imagine that the bus still finds strength to head to Manaus after four days and three nights on the road. The most remarkable thing is, once more, the passengers with not one complaint on this relentless adventure. A gente tem que visar uma coisa. A gente não tem que visar só lucro. A gente tem que visar a necessidade. Vamos dizer, não viaja 38 passageiros, mas viaja 10, viaja 15, viaja 20. Então ninguém vai deixar os passageiros na mão. According to an Amazon proverb, the earth isn't thirsty for the blood of fighters, but for the sweat of men. Luis and Leandro are not afraid to drip with it. They must now face up to their return journey with the next round of passengers.